fellow head squeezers, that most eerie time of year is upon us when ghosts and ghouls abound. Yes, tis Halloween. And as it's our favourite time of year, we've teamed up with a load of our friends to celebrate and have our own game of trick or treat. And the results have been pretty spooky. I'll begin with a factoid treat. Some people don't like Halloween much, but others actually have an irrational fear of it, known as Samhainophobia. The word derives from the old Celtic festival of Samhain, which marked the end of the Celtic year. The ancient Celts believed the dead walked the earth at this time. So they tried to keep them in good spirits by throwing the bones of dead livestock on a bone fire. Or as we'd say today, a bonfire. So for Head Squeeze's Halloween special, I've compiled my top three fluid dynamics tricks for apple bobbing. The first trick is that when you push an apple down, the amount of force pushing it back up is equal to the amount of water that is displaced. So go for smaller apples and make sure you bite down hard. The second trick is that the apple is most stable when the core is pointing directly downwards. So try not to tip over the apple when you're doing the bobbing. And the third and final trick is that when people are bobbing in the water, there's gonna be a lot of waves on the surface. So watch out for apples floating on these waves towards you. Sometimes if you just open your mouth, one will get caught in it without you even really trying. Hi, I'm Maddie from Earth Unplugged and you may be surprised to learn that some animals use devious tricks. Assassin bugs lure in spiders by pretending to be trapped in a web. They pluck the silk to replicate the vibrations, usually created by an ensnared insect. When the spider heads towards what it thinks is dinner, the assassin bug lunges and stabs it. Hello, we're Sorted Food. We can look better. <laughs> and Head Squeeze are playing a game of trick or treat, so here's our contribution. This is the easiest recipe we've ever done. It's perfect for Halloween. A witch's punch, equal quantities of blueberry and ginger ale. Blueberry juice. A generous handful of eyeballs. What? Lychees wow. stuffed with grapes. Ah, Very nice. And talking of hands, Barry. <sighs> Grab yourself one of them. <sighs> You're gonna taste the face. <laughs> Grab yourself one of them, fill it up with water, freeze it, and you're left with a sculpted hand. Cut the marigold away from the fingers. The severed hand floats inside of our punch oh, that. to keep it cool. And there it is, the perfect witch's punch. See, I told you it was easy. I haven't even moved from this spot, but that's because of rigor mortis. Trick or treat. Here I have a clear liquid. Looks a lot like white wine. I assure you it's not because we can't here at Head Squeeze be drinking alcohol on the job. It's not part of the fun we get to have here, unfortunately. But I can actually do something with this. Got to say a bit of mumbo jumbo. I'll check this out. <sighs> Lovely people, right before your eyes. Now looks a bit like red wine. So, if you think you can work out how I done that just now, please answer in the comments below. Let us know precisely how you think this happened. Nice one. Anglerfish use a lure to trick their prey. They have a bulb of glowing bacteria which gives off a blue glow. Enticed by the mesmerizing hue, fish approach and are swallowed whole. In fact, their flexible mouth and stomach allow them to gulp down prey twice their own size. Alligator snapping turtles have a similar ploy. They lie motionless, their mouths agape, and their tongue, the only thing that moves, resembles a seemingly tasty wiggly worm. If any animal is fooled into coming close enough, the turtle's jaws snap shut and kill the prey. 
Hey, it's me, Destin from Smarter Every Day. If you microwave a CD, you'll do a little trick and get a little treat. Wanna check it out? Let's do it. What number? All right, shut it. What let's number? say we're gonna do, let's do five seconds. And then you're gonna hit that button when I tell you to. You ready? Yes. Ready, set, go. Wow, that's cool. All right, so there you go. There's the trick, don't touch it, it's hot. And here's the treat. You just blew up your microwave and it'll never work again. <laughs> All right, hold on. It's still got some charge on it, just one second. See if it's hot. Wow, look at that. Yeah, what do you think? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? It's a really bad idea. <laughs> Because now our microwave cannot work. That's pretty much exactly what just happened. So here's my Halloween treat for you all, uh, a trilogy of pumpkin related facts. Fact number one, your Halloween pumpkin is probably the classic orange color, but they can also come green, of course, white, or even blue. Fact number two, the Guinness World Record for the heaviest pumpkin ever reported is over 824 kilograms, almost 130 stone. Fact number three, back in the 2010, the US produced a whopping 1.1 billion pounds of pumpkins, with Illinois racking up 427 million of them. That's enough to fill over 9,000 small trucks, and if you put all those pumpkins end to end, they would stretch for over 119 miles. Hi, this is Andy from the RI. Um, happy Halloween. The guys at Head Squeeze asked me to do uh, a science trick or treat for them. So naturally I chose a science trick, although I guess it's a bit of a science treat as well. So I'm just gonna pour this solution in here and see what happens. So what we saw, that saw there was what's normally known as the elephant's toothpaste reaction. Some hydrogen peroxide in the beaker at the bottom. Uh, to which I added some food colouring and some washing up liquid. And then this was magic ingredients, some uh, potassium iodide, and that catalyzes the decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide, releasing loads of oxygen and creating all that lovely foam with the washing up liquid. The Futurist Firefly is truly devious. It mimics the specific flashing patterns of other firefly species to attract their males looking for love. But instead, they are confronted by the monstrous Futurist Firefly and get devoured. Have a happy Halloween. Don't forget to subscribe to Head Squeeze and check out this awesome video about the scariest animals ever on Earth Unplugged. Happy Halloween, Head Squeeze people. It's that time of the year again. It's trick or treat. And we've got either a trick or a treat for you. We've got Martin Archer, uh, who's turned into an actual real live ghost. Uh, ready for you on a live experiment. Isn't that right, Martin? No, Hugh! No, no, no! What? What? You were not a real ghost. I wasn't a real ghost. Oh. It was a trick. But a treat for the people. A treat for the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, we had a bit of glass in front of the camera. Okay. Like so that. And so it was reflecting me into the camera. Oh, it's me in there as well. Yeah, yeah. It did you not, like did you not see me over there? I was just stood over there. You were a ghost, but yeah. No, I wasn't a ghost. Oh, right, okay. It's called Pepper's Ghost. It's an effect they used to do on stage in the Victorian times to make people look like they were ghosts. So Pepper's Ghost with a... With a bit of glass. With a bit of glass. Reflecting me to the audience to and make it look like I was a ghost. A live experiment there for you, ladies and gents, for Halloween. Happy trick or treat. Well, wasn't that fun? It's like walking the earth as the unquiet soul of Michael Jackson in Thriller. I hope you're suitably spooked out. Let us know down below what your favourite tricks and treats were and what frightening things you've got planned for this year. What's the most frightening thing I've ever seen, I hear you ask? Mmm. A mirror? <laughs>